What's going on? Nick Reese here. Just getting back to New York City after a seven-day trip across the U.S. with my friends Nick, Gita, and Julie. I met up with them on the second half of their 16-day trip, and we flew from L.A. to Sedona to Kansas to Indiana just for a fuel stop, then back to New York City. We actually just landed and found out the Giants won the Super Bowl. We didn't get to watch the game, but we found out from the air because of all the fireworks over the city. Overall, awesome experience getting to see the U.S. at low altitude and hanging out with great friends. Uh, really couldn't think of a better way to spend a week. Uh, we're going to Sedona, Arizona. Uh, it should be really cool because when you land there, you land on the container top mesa. The runway is literally above the town, so you feel pretty. Uh, we're at Santa Monica Airport, packing up all of our stuff. This is some nasty weather. Woohoo! How'd that feel? Amazing. Excited to get back home. Oh, let's go. Let's go back to New York City. All right, everyone, lean in. We're recording. Come on. I found my credit card. Yay! Yeah, lean in. Lean in. Lean in. Okay. Lean in. Lean in. So we're back in Farmingdale. Nick did an amazing job. How many hours today? Did we fly? Six and a half, I think. Yeah, six hours of flying or something like that, roughly. Left Kansas after yes. a broken wannabe washer. No, well, we had a broken start of the engine wouldn't stop, but it was actually just a broken wire, so we ran out to Lowe's and grabbed some hardware, made some new hardware that worked. Gita helped me, like, a uh, little backup plan with the maintenance, it was good. Uh, we got the plane running, we stopped in Indiana, Indiana, yeah. Indiana for fuel, 
and then made it back to New York. We did a space shuttle descent over New York. Got to see some fireworks because the Giants won while we were in the air. So we kind of missed the game, but got to see all the celebration from the air. Pretty impressive. Uh, it was awesome. It was, I'm just so happy to be home, but also confused with what I do next. So I think all of us should go around and, and say what like our big takeaway so far, just in this moment, is from the from the trip. Um, all right. So as we were landing and we were flying over New York City, I had this moment of I can't believe I live here. It's only been seven months, and I just I still can't get over it. Um, and I feel like I got a really good cross section of the rest of the country, and I feel so so grateful that I live here and that I have access to everything, which is mind-blowing. Definitely. Okay. Um, I guess the big takeaway message for me is to figure out what my passion is and fly with it. Whoa, a pun! There yeah! Go. Woo! Love it. How about you, Nick? All right. So my big, my big takeaway is to be like, grateful for the people I'm around. Because really, you guys, each of you inspire me to be a better person, and I'm lucky to know you guys as friends, and I like, can never take that for granted. Awesome. So my big takeaway is probably realizing that my whole life I've had this potential for doing these kind of things and having these resources. Um, so yeah, I guess in a lot of ways I'll say what you said, where like it was the people that made this really fun, though. I mean, I could have flown mm -hmm. across the country my whole life, right. but the people made the experience for sure. But also realizing what I have and starting to use it and building a life that allows me to really enjoy it more. So be more mobile, planning to fly a week, a month would be amazing. I'm really having a goal towards that. So yeah, I'm just, I'm excited about this year has already started out just freaking crazy. It's <laughs> been three trips in the last month and a half. So we're just going to keep that going. Heck yeah. More keep trips to come. Going. First keep of many. Going. All right, team. Bump it. Bump it. it. Yeah. Yeah. And explosion. Boom. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs>